We use the pure chromium oxide in the finishing step of sharpening on a paper wheel, leather wheel or firm strop. Use it after all the deburring has been completed. Finishing is important to clean up the deburred areas on the edge from any weak metal left after the burr breakout to get a sharp and stronger edge. Finishing with the chromium oxide improves skinness, making the edge hair splitting and brings sharpness to under 50 bath. The pure chromium oxide grain size is from 0.2 to 0.5 micron, average 0.3 micron in size. This corresponds to grid 100,000. You can buy the pure chromium oxide from a chemical or art supply store. In Australia, right now I see it on Australian eBay, search for chromium oxide or chrome oxide. Some art stores in Australia also sell it. In the USA, Europe, Japan and the Pacific, go to the Kramer Pigments website and there go to shops. In Canada, a ready-made paste is sold by Classic Edge. You can make the pure chromium oxide paste yourself by mixing it with either liquid paraffin or refined linseed oil. The liquid paraffin you can buy in pharmacies and the refined linseed oil in art stores. The liquid paraffin is better for paper wheels, while the linseed oil is better for leather wheel and strop. I have a dedicated Tomek leather wheel for chromium oxide. Usually the Tomek comes with the leather backside out and is somewhat rough. Send it with the grid 80 sandpaper, followed by Grid 120 sandpaper to make smooth. Do not use a finer sandpaper because its particles may embed into the leather. Wrap the sandpaper around a wooden block and sand. One of our Tormex, however, came with the leather backside in and smooth face side out. If this is the case, you do not need to sand the leather wheel. Mix a small amount for single application in a disposable plastic cup. Mix into a thick paste. Put on a powder-free latex glove.
and simply painted green, rubbing into. Painted green with your finger, into your strop or leather wheel. Done. The same with the leather wheel. And the same with the paper wheel. The only difference is that you will be using the liquid paraffin, not the lacid oil. Having applied the chromium oxide paste, let it settle overnight. The liquid paraffin needs time to soak in into your paper wheel, while the linseed oil polymerizes into a dry form. The linseed oil polymerizes upon exposure to oxygen in air. Because of this polymerization, the ready-made chromium oxide paste in linseed oil may solidify with time and must be stored in an airtight container. Once upon a time, when I didn't know how to make a chromium oxide paste, I ordered a jar of ready chromium oxide paste and it arrived in the solid state. Good for nothing but the garbage bin. This is the reason we mix the paste for single application, not to bother about the storage. 100 grams of pure chromium oxide will last for many years. Do not reapply the chromium oxide too often. In our workshop, we reapply the chromium oxide only twice a year. Please watch the video to the end. The safety notes follow.